Let's talk about ISTJs and communication. Now, ISTJs as a personality type tend to be quiet and serious. They're independent workers. Uh, they're self-sufficient. They take pride in, in leading an orderly and organized life, and they take a lot of pride in their work as well. Um, they, they're completer finishers, meaning if they, they say yes to a project, they're on board with something, they want to see it through to the end. They're not going to engage in a lot of small talk. Um, they want to keep things work-related uh, as much as possible. They're going to tend to avoid small talk. They want to stick to the facts. What information do I need to get this project moving forward? Um, and because of their thinking nature, they tend to be um, critical. They tend to be uh, questioning, analyzing in nature. So when they see a project, when they're evaluating something, some of the first things that come out of their mouth aren't going to be, hey, great job on this, Sally. I really like what you've done with this, Stu. It's going to be, why did you do that? And did you really think through this? And are, we, are you sure we want to go in that direction? It's just their natural tendency that comes out in communication. They, all, they may also communicate in email. Introverts tend to do some of their best communicating when they have a chance to reflect and rehearse what they want to put into words. And sometimes in writing, that's better than, than talking. They also can be stubborn at times and slow to change. So they may dig their heels in until they understand the logic of the change. So when communicating with an ISTJ, here's some tips. Adopt a calm and rational approach with them. Um, you may earn some respect with them uh, if, you, if you have your facts straight, if you uh, demonstrate confidence in a certain area. They like to work with competent people, so the more you can demonstrate that and answer the questions, have a plan in place, be organized, uh, the better off. You may want to even email them details of a plan or, or questions you may have for them so they can have that um, for posterity, so they can go back and look at that and reference that. ISTJs may do some of their better communicating uh, through email as well, so you may want to avoid some of the pop-ins, stopping by their office, stopping by their cubicle. Um, and instead, you may want to email or leave a voicemail for them so that they can attend to that later. Don't take anything personally with ISTJs if they do question you or challenge you. They're just trying to make the process better. So don't take that personally. But on the flip side, it doesn't hurt to challenge them, question them, because they enjoy that refining process. They're not going to take it personally. So if you want to debate with them or argue with them or try to figure out the best way to go about it, that's not a bad way to go either. So keep that in mind the next time you're communicating with an ISTJ.